Welcome to the channel. If you're a fan of Formula One, you might have noticed that drivers get weighed after they get out of the car. For example, you might have observed that the top three finishers of any Grand Prix go to the weighing scale before they head to the podium to collect their trophy. In this video, we will explore why Formula One drivers are weighed. Let's get started. For the 2021 season, Formula One requires each car to have a minimum weight of 752 kilograms. This is the weight of the car without fuel, which could be another additional 110 kilograms for a Grand Prix distance. According to FIA regulations, out of the 752 kilograms, 80 must come from the driver. So I know what you're thinking here. What about a driver like Yuki Sonoda, who stands at 1.5 meters tall and weighs only 54 kilograms? That's a good question. If a driver weighs less than 80 kilograms, the team is required to add a ballast to the driver's seat to bring the weight up to 80 kilograms. So in the case of Yuki Sonoda, the 80 kilogram minimum requirement would be met by adding a 26 kilogram ballast to his seat. This minimum weight requirement was introduced in the 2019 season. Prior to this, the only measure that was taken was the car's total weight. This put heavier drivers at a disadvantage since lighter drivers could place a ballast strategically on the car to optimize balance and setup while complying with the minimum total car weight requirement. This is why you might have observed drivers prior to 2019 focus their nutrition and exercise plans to have lean muscle rather than bulky muscle. This rule change has given drivers more freedom as to how they can keep their body while still being competitive in the races. So why do drivers get weighed after a session? The FIA rule states that at no time during the event must the driver weight plus ballast weight be less than 80 kilograms. Before starting a Grand Prix, a Formula One driver usually drinks a large amount of fluid to put his body in the best position to handle the demands of driving an F1 car at Grand Prix distance. At the end of the race, it is not uncommon for a driver to lose up to 4 kilograms of weight. As you can see, it is easily possible for a driver plus ballast weight to drop under 80 kilograms by the end of the race. Let's look at an example. Assume that world champion Lewis Hamilton's normal weight is around 73 kilograms. Prior to the Grand Prix, if he drinks 2 kilograms of fluid, his weight would be 75 kilograms. Let's assume he has an 8-pound ballast fitted under his seat. This would mean that Lewis can lose up to 3 kilograms of weight during the race. If he loses more than that, he might be disqualified. One additional point to note is that all fuel is emptied out of the car after a Grand Prix. Then the car weight plus driver weight is summed together and must be a minimum of 752 kilograms. If it is less, the driver could be disqualified. This is the reason that cars cannot be touched or modified after the driver has completed a session. This is typically referred to as Park Ferme conditions. If you would like to learn more about what is Park Ferme, I made a detailed video which is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.